Live A. To the window! Oh, to the wall! Three pounds for Morrison's. That is my lunch. That just looks delicious, and it could even do even better if it had some of this. If you're a barbecue sauce fan, this, there's nothing better than this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, are you the type of person just, you know, to leave a little puddle there, or are you the person to do this? Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Even more, it is so nice. Mmm. And would you look at that? That is another beautiful day. Oh, why can't it be like this forever? Why does England have to suck? That meal I've just had was so nice. I so needed it after today. It's dragged and it's going to get longer and longer throughout the week. I just know it. But today, it was actually alright today because it's the best lesson timetable wise. I mean,. So today was the best lessons timetable wise, I mean I had drama, computing, and Ari which, I, I love Ari actually because I can do it and it's your own opinion and, and I guess I feel like I'm good at spreading my own opinion. But something that has been recurring and popping up recently is how are people getting to prom? Because I know a few people, well another friends group is going by tank and there's one going by toy cars and we don't know how we're going to get there. I mean, we kind of want a vintage bus, but god damn, it's expensive. They're like, what's that cat doing? So we're wanting like a vintage bus from like, I don't know, the 50s, I guess, or something like that. But that thing like costs 600 pounds. That's something like 50 pounds each. And I don't know, that's a little bit too extreme. So if you've got any ideas for any prom vehicles or something like that, I'd love to know because we're running out of ideas here. Something really funny actually happened today though. In English, we're, well, we're studying Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time and the teacher actually asked me, have I even read the book? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure I've read the book. And then she goes, oh, okay. Uh, what happens on like the last few couple of pages in the book? Surely you must remember, as I said, I only like read it like last week. So, you know, she turns to the back of the book so she takes my book and she opens it, only to find this rancid image of uh, of Judy Boone that me and my mate drew in like form, I don't know, months ago now. So she's there just stopped and looking at this image and she turns around and goes, what's this photo of Judy Boone doing in the back of your book? I don't know man, but it was so awkward. <laughs> Oh, it was funny though, everyone burst into laughter and it was funny. I've never been so more annoyed in my life. I went down to pick up some rubbish from the floor and I saw a little piece of paper floating around and I go, oh what's that, it looks like a £10 note. And it does, it looks like a £10 note. And then I reach to grab it and... Look at that, what a tease! Although I said yesterday that we might be going running today, and I said, you know, how Otley Shevin's beautiful and all that, I don't think we actually are going to go running today, because Dad's still got a poorly leg, so I feel like I'm just going to stay home again. Which is kind of sad, because I actually didn't want to go running. I haven't been running in, I don't know, four weeks now, and I really want to go running, but, uh, I don't know, maybe next week. And plus, it's always a nice feeling, because when I got home, I go and open my YouTube channel, only to find that four more people have subscribed. I know four people isn't a massive number, but from the three I had earlier, that's actually really nice. And, you know, I've actually doubled it in just one night, so, hey new guys. So I'm now outside enjoying this absolutely lovely weather. I'd just like to talk to you a while about, you know, where do we want to go in life? Because I know it's sort of a YouTuber thing to do, like explain your life. What do you want to do? So after an exam, which is in, can you believe it, only four weeks, I want to do A-levels at my same school in sixth form and I'm going to be studying history, computing and drama in MF3 and I'm going to be doing an EPQ which is which I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a short film, 15 minute film and then you do like a 5,000 word essay on how you did it, all the planning and preparation, that's what I'll do. 
because what my absolute dream is is to get into the filming industry whether it be TV you know even Hollywood film anything film related would absolutely be my life set it was only screaming it was only last year where I went to work experience down at working title in London they produced the Mr. Bean films they did Billy Elliot they done a lot of famous films and you know what even though I was only a runner I didn't do a whole lot I think it was one of the best experiences I've had in my life. I absolutely loved going down to London, even though I got the train from Cambridge to London, which took an hour and a bit every day, which was, you know, I actually didn't mind it. I liked it. But being in that environment, it just felt right. And that's, it, that, got, so, uh, that sort of confirmed that I really want to go into the filming industry. Because I've always loved films and I love YouTube. I started YouTube six years ago on my other channel where I did my first video which was about Doctor Who by the way that's my favourite TV program ever oh, it's actually in competition with Game of Thrones at the moment so I'm not too sure but this is why I've started this YouTube channel vlogging my day every life because maybe you can join me on the journey to do into the film industry and stuff like that because that's that's just what I want to do ever since I've been growing up my dad's been a filmmaker mostly doing documentaries on Yorkshire and stuff like that and you know, when I started growing up, I found it extremely boring and stuff like that. Because you know, he'd get this really heavy camera gear and it weighed an absolute ton. But then he started showing me how to use the camera and how to pull off shots and stuff like that. And I just got sucked in. And that's when I knew I wanted to enter the film industry. So ever since I was four years old, I've been on YouTube. And that's crazy. So ever since then, I've always wanted to produce videos so you know when I was in year six so that would be about 12, 12 years old 12 or 11 uh, I started a Minecraft channel I know cliche whatever but it never really took off but this I, I'm finding this really really like loving now you know um, when I started off only about a week ago I found it really hard you know well to be honest I, I did start filming in a museum which is awkward to start off on anyway but now now I actually love just walking around with this camera. It's great. Look at that sun. So now you know, anything and anywhere in the film, TV, media industry, that is what I want to do. Hell, just even being on YouTube to start off with now, I feel like I've entered the media industry now, and that, it just feels great, it just feels right. Now I know you might find it a bit boring, me dribbling on about how I want to be in film and stuff like that. But you know, it's good to give myself some background, get to know me a bit better, so there you go. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I went to Morrison's again. <laughs>